guys, this is Smriti. Welcome to my channel. Today's video is a very, very, very special one. I've been waiting to do this video like an updated version for a very long time. So today we're going to talk about my top neutral palettes that I have in my collection. Most of them you can still find it, but I also wanted to mention like some of the old palettes which are like discontinued, like limited edition palettes, which you might have in your collection. And these are like the best of the best. So without further ado, let's begin. Okay, let's start off with like a warm tone palette, I would say. Very, very everyday-esque in my collection. And this is from Sigma and this is their ambience palette. Who remembers this? I love to wear this, especially for my work, for like any special occasions. It's such a beautiful palette. It definitely has like warmer tones as well as like the neutral tones. I love these tones. Like the mattes blend so beautifully. The shimmers are so sparkly on the eyes. It never creases on me. Like Sigma shimmers are like very smooth. It's not like super sparkly, but it is shimmery. So it's really, really pretty. Like for an elegant look, elegant, like an everyday look i really 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 love this so i definitely wanted to give a shout out to this and also like this comes with like a very very practical a good quality brush like with a packer brush as well as like a, a blending brush on the other end it's really really pretty sigma often does like a like a sale on their website and a lot of people have uh, affiliated codes with Sigma. I personally do not have one, but I love Sigma eyeshadow palette. So if you are interested, definitely wait for a sale and grab one. You'll definitely not be disappointed. Okay, now from the warm tone color story, let's move to a cool tone color story and very curated color story, I would say, but such a beautiful, beautiful palette. And this is from Nabla. And this is their Nabla Platinum Cutie Palette. This is like cool tone color story but with like a different twist to it i really really love this one like look at this how beautiful this is like i know that this palette is definitely shimmer heavy it has two beautiful mattes this definitely can act like a transition shade as well as like a mid-tone deepening shade because it blends out so seamlessly on the crease it it's really really pretty like with a beautiful formula too love 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 them and these shimmers are so sparkly and so dimensional on the eyes very very it's not like by any means like a duochrome or a multi-chrome formula anything like that but it's like a straight elegant shimmer formula if you are into these like uh, everyday but glam kind of look this is beautiful okay now let's talk about a brand which actually is super super affordable if you were eyeing like natasha denona palettes but you do not have that much like budget to dip into but you want like that quality and that color story within you definitely definitely try alter ego and these are like my two favorite neutral palettes that they have in their collection one is sahara and the other one is canyon sahara dupes the natasha denona biba palette so if you were like eyeing that and biba is like 129 dollars and this is like 16 dollars it's a huge price difference but the quality is so 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 beautiful like i've done like a dedicated video using these palettes on my channel i'll see how much i can like link in the icons above but if you give it a search you'll definitely find it it's beautiful color story and lovely quality like there is nothing that i'm recommending that's not of a good quality so i really really feel very nice like recommending this palette i actually wore this palette uh, for my birthday last year i really love it and i often wear these tones to office i love this love this if you're looking for like a neutral everyday color story this is really really pretty obviously this is matte heavy and the mattes are beautiful you can go rosy tones you can do like deep tones like gray tones and you have like some very light shimmers and some bronzy shimmers it goes from light to very deep which i love love in a neutral palette so this is definitely one of my favorites and the canyon palette dupes natasha denona bronze palette so if you are like a warm tone lover i feel like this is so pretty on the eyes like this was like one among my favorite palettes in my collection especially for those like warm tone color story again i can totally understand like natasha denona palettes are like 69 dollars especially the bronze palette is like 
like $69 and this is $16. So if you feel like those tones were like very repetitive in Natasha Denona, I won't blame you because for the price, you're not getting that much variety. But if you love those tones like me, like if you love bronzes, this is awesome. Like this quality is absolutely awesome. I love it. And they dupe like even the formula, like this is a cream to powder formula. The rest of them have like duochrome, shimmery shades and these uh, mattes are beautiful. Like when I see this, I really want to wear this again. Like maybe I'll wear this to office tomorrow. <laughs> okay, now from very affordable to very bougie, let's jump to Pat McGrath. And this is the Pat McGrath Bronze Seduction Palette. Look at the packaging. I can never get rid of this packaging. Like how stunning is this? Like beautiful. Okay, and then when you open this, let me show you the color story. I mean, the packaging is heavy, sturdy, lovely, and I'm pretty sure everybody has seen this palette, but this is such a beautiful neutral palette with like a twist. Like if you hide this like red, it's a beautiful neutral palette. Like it's, it's a beautiful wearable color palette, I would say. I often like dip into these mattes because these mattes are stunning and often go with like one of these shimmers on the eyes for like an everyday look. I'm not a big fan of their shimmers, but these toppery shade, oh my goodness. It's so pretty, it's so lovely. I love, love the Pat McGrath formula. I won't blame and I would not tell you to go run and buy it because again, it's a $125 palette. So I'm not gonna go and run and buy it, but Pat McGrath does do a lot of like 30% off 40% off on her website. I would say definitely wait for a sale if you're eyeing one of the palettes and you will not be disappointed. But will I ask you to go run and buy it? Absolutely not. Okay, now let's talk about like a very fan favorite palette, I would say. And this has been running for a long time and for a reason. Like if you are looking for a neutral palette, in any color story, <laughs> you would absolutely love this. And this is Too Faced Natural Nudes palette. You get so much for the quality and for the price. It's just stunning. Like if you love your rosy brown tones, because you can go like very neutral to rosy tones, to like warm tones, to like deep chocolatey tones, you definitely can do so much with this palette. And I love, love the mattes that are included in this palette. And the shimmers are like creamy uh, formula. It's not like super sparkly all over the eyes, but like very creamy dimensional, like effective formula. Absolutely beautiful. I recently did a video like using this palette in like a one get ready with me just because I wanted to use it and I was like craving those neutral tones. Oh, actually the best of like Sephora and Ulta uh, video, I linked that in the eye cards above and this was like number one palette in Ulta and I, I cannot blame them. Like this is neutral color story, which everybody loves and it's very, very wearable. So for that reason, I feel like this is a stunning palette. Okay, now let's move on to a few indie brands because they all also do neutrals really really well cannot blame them now let's talk about melt cosmetics i have melt gemini as well as gemini 2 with me gemini is definitely more of like you know when you think about like neutral tones like you definitely think of brown tones and this is definitely like warm tone mixed with like a few pop of like greens here and the formula is absolutely stunning now when i think of melt i definitely think of melt mattes because i feel like melt mattes are like exceptionally good but let's say if you're not into greens like me i was not into greens this past year i don't know what's happened to me but i am i'm totally into these tones i and i use this so much so very much and the quality is right up there but if you are like me and you feel like like rosy tones on your eyes for like every day gemini 2 would be so beautiful like i don't know if this is like considered as a neutral palette or not for me pinky browns are like my comfort zone my neutral tones so i really 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 love this like you can definitely go for like everyday soft peachy rosy eye to like grungy, smoky, beautiful, sexy look. I love, love it. Okay, now let's talk about another brand which I absolutely love and especially this palette. Oh my God, this just took me sweep me off my feet and this is glam lights chocolate martini palette. I have mentioned this so much on my channel and for a reason, like I love this palette. Again, this is like a neutral palette with like a twist. I love my purples and like this pop of orange in this palette just 
gives it so much more to do with this palette. I love, love the rosy tones that are included in it, but you can definitely go more like goldeny, coppery, like rosy. It's, it's so, so pretty. If you are into these colors and if you're looking for like a neutral palette, this is stunning. And Glam Light does like a very, I feel like very right price point because indie brands are definitely more on the expensive side, but I feel like Glam Light's price point is very right with the quality and the formula that they are giving to us. Like I love Glam Light. Okay, now let's talk about a matte palette, which I, I often use, maybe not on camera that much, but I often use in my everyday life. And that is from Hindash. And this is their Beautopsy palette. If you are like not so much into like shimmers and like eyeshadows so much and you love your mattes and you want to go like basic but you would just want like one palette to do everything for you this palette does it for you like you can use it on your face your eyes your blush your powder everything you can use it even for your brows this is stunning like i often use this and this for my brushes i dip into like these stones and these stones mixed together for my brows this is beautiful as like a setting powder this beautifully performs like as a bronzer for me like if i mix this you have to like mix and match that's the beauty about this palette and you can create your custom shades and this just blends like a dream there's no patchiness nothing like, these are very like buildable format it's not like a punchy pigment as soon as you like dip into dip your brush into it you will not like see like a uh, lot of color uh, per se but you can definitely build it up and this formula is so beautiful like so beautiful i love this i don't know why people don't talk about it so much but i love this beautopsy palette like definitely one of my favorite palettes okay now let's talk about a palette that i feel like i use the most out of the palettes that I'm going to talk, top two palettes that I often use in my collection and that is from Patrick Ta, and this is their Rose Dimension palette. It's super reflective so I don't want to blind you guys but this is like my color story. As I told you I am more of like a pinky brown person. I love my pinky browns and this is just everything that I need. Like I just wear these stones so much and I feel like I'm so glad that I picked this up because I gave it a good amount of thought before buying this palette because this is an expensive palette and I got like a 20% coupon off to get this palette. I'm so glad that I bought it. I really would have regretted if I would have not purchased this because this, I wear this so much. I'm actually considering like traveling with this when I go to India for like two months. These are like my tones. I, if I like pair this with like one of like my colorful eyeshadow palette, I think that is it. Like I'll be good to survive like two months with these. I really, really, really appreciate like the cream formula as well as the matte formula and the shimmer formula. It's super elegant. Absolutely love this palette. I cannot wait to see what Patrick Ta has for us this year because I'm really, really keeping my eyes like glued onto it. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about like a major shimmer heavy palette. If you like a glam shimmer, like multi-chrome, duochrome heavy palette, but with like neutral tones, you don't want like too much of color in your life, but you want to sparkle and shine from like the outer space. This palette is right up your alley and this is from Adept Cosmetics and this is the Minka palette. I cannot tell you how glam and how beautiful like showstopper it is. There's no way that you wear this and people won't ask what is on your eyes because that's that's how sparkly and shiny you need to be ready for the sparkle and the shine because this is something else. Like, look at the tones that are included in it. It also has like a holographic uh, multi-chrome here and like a smooth pink to green multi-chrome. But rest, everything is like super neutral, super glam on your eyes. Of course, it does have like two purpley mattes to just complement. But the beauty about these palettes are like you can pop out these shades because it's magnetic and you can easily take it out and like replace it with the other shade. So if you have like a couple of Adept Cosmetics palettes, I love my purples. So I, this is like neutral for me, but you can often, you can absolutely like swap the Heather Austin, like that brown or the maroons uh, in this palette. And that will also go so beautifully with these tones. I just love it. I love it. <laughs> like I cannot tell you how much I cherish this palette. Like this is like my running the red carpet kind of look as if I'm like running the red carpet all the time. Absolutely not. <laughs> 
like my glam occasion would be if I'm going for like a birthday party, right? Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, the last brand that I have to mention, have to mention is Natasha Denona. The two palettes that I would recommend to you guys, if you are a neutral wearer, depending on the color shades or the tones that you like, you will not be disappointed with any of them. First is My Dream Palette from Natasha Denona. And the second one is the Retro Palette from Natasha Denona. These are the midi size palettes. Again, these shades are also magnetic. You can see like those holes. You can pop those shades out from here. I'll just let you guys decide what is your color story. But again, my purpose here is just to recommend like great eyeshadow palettes to you guys. And it's completely on to you whether you want to purchase it or not. Again, I'm not going to tell you what to purchase and what not to purchase. But this is Smithy in a palette. Like this is, I this just makes my heart smile so much like i love it it gives me a tingle like no other like i feel like natasha just curated a palette for smithy it's just so beautiful i really want to take oh my god what will i take to india when i travel i don't know like i really want to take this and pop a few shades out and mix and match like some of my multi-chromes in it maybe like cleona shades in it and that would just make my whole thing and the retro palette if you've not seen like my recent video where i tried this i purchased this for my birthday and i don't the only regret that i have is like why did i not do this earlier because these tones again like i love my moms and this is so beautiful so beautiful i love it absolutely love it this is super elegant if you love your mauves and your pinky browns this palette is like more heavy on the cream to a powder formula so if you're not a big fan of that i would not recommend this because there's a lot of cream to powder formula i personally love cream to powder formula from natasha denona it has five cream to powder formula in uh this 15 pan eyeshadow palette and these like midi palettes are like 69 dollars, so it's not like affordable by any means but if you like one color story from Natasha Denona Midi Palettes, I would highly recommend it. Like because they just do it lovely, lovely. Okay, now let's dive into four palettes that are like, you cannot get them. But if you have it in your collection, you would absolutely love playing with them. Because if it's like lost in your collection, I want to just remind you about it. The first one that I want to talk about is the Odin's Eye Red Dragon Palette. This is such a beautiful warm tone palette. Super, super everyday, except these greens, I would say. I would wear this green also but this is like a little outside my comfort zone and even this like red but i mean this is beautiful it's stunning like how i i cannot even tell you how how lovely these formulas are and odin's eye mattes and shimmers are they just take my breath away i've often worn this like multi-chrome shade that you see you see maroon like a rosy bronzy shade i personally see a green because it is that you know, green to bro rosy bronze shifting shade. It's so stunning on the eyes. Like people often ask me when I'm wearing this palette, like what I have on my eyes. And it's just so pretty, so pretty. Like if you have this, play with this more. Like I cannot tell you. Second palette <laughs> that I want to, want to. I just don't understand like why was this discontinued. I want Domini Cosmetics to get this back. And this is their Latte palette. I feel like this was their best palette they had in their whole collection i just want them to get this back in whatever elevated packaging they want to because this is stunning absolutely stunning the mattes are so beautiful the shimmers are so lovely I, it's very difficult for me to keep this palette down when i start using this that's how much i love it like i love to wear this in like summer season because it has those like warm toasty browns and i love my purple so it has like those purples and those shimmers are stunning like not sparkly or like multi-chrome duochrome dimensional but this has like smooth elegant formula very very similar to the persona uh, cosmetics shimmers i would say very beautiful it's like thick shimmers but it doesn't emphasize any texture on your eyelids or anything i feel like this is such a big enough friendly palette that people would love so if you have it in your collection definitely definitely use it again and the palette that i don't show it in camera but till I'm, I'm pretty sure that this is expired, but I still use it. That's how much I love it. I just cannot stop using this. And this is Dose of Colors Friendcation Palette. The mattes have definitely deteriorated in the formula just because it's old. But the mattes, 
the mats. Did I say shimmers? The shimmers are the ones that are not performing the same way it was performing earlier because earlier it was like butter, butter. The mats, on the other hand, they just take my breath away. They make my heartbeat like go faster. It's so beautiful, blendable and such right tones for like my medium tan skin tone. I cannot tell you enough. Like I just love it so very much. Dose of colors. Are you listening to me? Get this palette back. I know people like there would be someone who left out this palette and they should buy this because this is so beautiful so beautiful and these shimmers could have been like mixed together to create another kind of a, a shade it makes my heart beat so fast i don't i cannot even tell you but there's no point telling you guys because you cannot like buy it but if you have it in your collection i know it's expired so i should probably not talk about it but it's so good and last certainly not the least another stunning cool tone color story palette you cannot find it anymore but if you have in your collection you know what i'm talking about this is the abh sultry palette how can i talk about a neutral palette collection video without talking about this because that would be a sin <laughs> not to talk about it and this is stunning absolutely stunning like i love love playing with these tones i don't play with like these like gray tones on my eyes just because i feel like with my skin tone gray doesn't look the best on me so I feel like, but the rest of the shimmers, they are so good. Like, so good. I love it. I'm so sad. I can cry. <laughs> but those were the palettes that are in my collection, which I absolutely love for like an everyday, but like smoky, occasionally like neutral kind of looks. I love, love, love these tones. It just, it just makes my day. <laughs> If you have those palettes in your collection, do let me know which is like your top favorite neutral palette in your collection. I would love to hear it out, especially if it is not in my collection. You should probably tell me about it. But that's all for today, guys. If you did like this video, you know what to do. Do give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and ring that notification bell so that you're notified every time that I post next. I generally upload three videos every single week, every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Saturdays at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Until next time, I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.